everyone, Amanda here from scrimpingmommy.co.uk and I've got a lovely project for you to try this weekend. Um, uh, it's a very, very cute little project um, and I'm going to make it for you. So we've got this little tie here, okay, and it opens this way and we've got a small little pocket there with a card that you can write on. I have created this for Valentine's Day so perhaps you could write a, a love message on there for your loved one. Okay, and then if we turn it to the back, we've got a pocket the same at the back as well. Um, so again, you could write a lovely message, you could do some extra stamping, you could put money in <laughs> or a gift card. Okay, and then if we open our project up, we've got this lovely, lovely card, which will it will stand alone like so. Okay, we've even decorated the back. It's all beautiful. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's not difficult. Um, so if you don't like long videos, I suggest you go to your settings and you can speed it up so that it goes a bit quicker. Okay, so what we need first of all are two of the envelopes that uh, these are stamping up ones and these fit the 3x3 three three note cards. Okay, and then I've got some Whisper White. This is a 12x12 12 12 sheet that's been cut down, I've used some of it and we cut in a piece which is 3 inches by 12 and then we're going to score it at 3 inch and we're going to score it at 3 6 9 and 12 super easy, nothing difficult 9, and we don't need to score at 12 because 12 is the edge, I beg your pardon so we've got that. So we're going to fold the first one up, the next one in, and then up. So you've got a W shape. Okay? Simple as that. And give it all a good squeeze. And then I'm going to cut two pieces which measure three by three. That should be, yeah. Three by three. And these are our little message cards for in each pocket. So three by three okay. and I've done all the rest of the cutting beforehand so for our three by three here we just want to punch uh, where's my punch gun I want the smaller one there we go one inch we want to punch out two one inch circles we're going to fold them in half and we're going to use these as little tabs so we've got something to grip to pull that card out. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we'll just put those to one side for a moment. And we're bringing in our envelopes. Now the flap of that is the front. And the flap of that one is the back. Okay. Like so. So we put those flat down so the flaps are underneath there. And we get in our, our folded cardstock and we're going to glue that one onto that one and that one onto that one. Okay, super simple. You will have a very small increment um, because the envelopes are just slightly bigger than 3x3, three three, obviously because they're meant to fit 3x3 three three cards in. So make sure you've got an even gap all the way around there. Okay, and then we're going to do the same here. You could um, do it exactly as I'm doing it. You can use different papers. You could add little pockets. There's loads you can do. It, these are just fun. Um, I want that that way. So I want the, where do I want my flap? I want my flap at the back. I don't want to um, get my flap in the wrong place, <laughs> it's meant to go there. Okay, so. Okay. So that when it's closed, the flaps are on that edge there, and at the back, the flap is on the edge there. Okay, so the flaps are at the same side. That's when you know you've picked the right edge. Okay, I'm just going to line that up. Give that a press. Okay, 
um, and then that all folds together like so. Really, really easy, beautiful. It's almost like a little mini album as well. Um, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is cut two pieces, and these measure three inches by two and seven eighths. Okay, and these are for the inside of the envelope here. Well, it's the front, but it's going underneath the flap. So three by two and seven eighths. This is this sizing is slightly larger than the matting that we're going to do on the inside because the inside is slightly smaller. Um, right, so. What you want to do, don't put your glue on the back of there, put your glue on the envelope and then you know you're not sticking your cardstock to that inside bit. Okay. It sticks down nice does this foil card, I have to say, I've not had a problem with it yet. I'll stick that one on there with the little cut out there, okay, line it up. Then just stick your little note card in. In fact, we'll stick this on first. So you've got your little circle that you've cut in half, a little bit of glue, not too much, just a little bit, a little bit of glue. Aim for the centre and then just have a look where that cutout is because that's where you want it to be. So if you'll just line it up. And then just adjust that so that when you put it inside, it will be within the boundaries, as it were, of that little cutout that you've done. Okay, so that's how you line that bit up. And then that will just slide. It should do. <laughs> it should do. It does. There we go. Just slides in there. And then your little... Um, thumb bit there is showing there and we're going to turn over and we're going to do the same on the back. I'm going to try not to waffle <laughs> but I can't guarantee it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, I've put glue. I've done it wrong. I've put glue on the cardstock. Let me just, that's because I'm waffling. Let me just wipe it off. I don't want to glue the cardstock. I want to glue the envelope. Otherwise I'll end up with glue on that inside bit. What a waller. Right. So I'll just put a little bit on there and the rest of it should be fine. So I'm going to have to be careful now that I don't... So glue the envelope on the envelope, not on the card, for the just for this bit. Let me just stick my ruler in there so I don't stick that down. If you get any glue on here, on the foil card, I have found that Tombow will just wipe off with a bit of a damp cloth. Um, from the foil card. I, I, it has done for me anyway. Or the sleeve of my dressing gown. Whatever. Baby wipe. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same with my little thumb notch thingy majigger. Don't know the turn. It's like a tab, isn't it? Okay. If we line, get it all lined up nice, just take that extra time. Um, and because we want it to look really lovely, give that a press. And that should just slide in there nicely. And that is that bit done. Is that all the way in? There we go. Okay. So now what we can do is we can put our foil card on these sections here. And I've actually cut six. One, two, three, four. And then you flip over and you've got two on the back. So I've cut six. And they measure two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. Okay. Ooh, I've got two there. If I had any ATG or any tape runner left, um, I would likely use that for the video. But I will say that using wet glue um, will help you because if you've not got it quite straight, you've got some wiggle room. This is the lovely lipstick foil card that you get free with Celebration. You get an awful lot as well in the pack. Um, you get more in the Celebration packs than you get in the packs when you blooming buy it. 
and it, it's beautiful. I've got I've I've hoarded some, so I, I've got quite I've got a couple of packs. I'm not going to lie. Um, and you love it. It's it's lovely. It's really really nice. Got some glue on there. Get off. Don't want that on there. Let's give it a rub. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much if I get a bit of glue on. I'll clean it up at the end. I do still have a glue eraser that I hoarded from the old days. And just, you know, a, a bit of a damp cloth will, will get this glue off of the foil card because it, it's it's got that kind of plasticky, shiny surface. That's that one. And they, I love these. They're great for swapping. I still, I still give one of these to my little girl at Valentine. She likes to get a little card. <laughs> a little, she calls them love cards. <laughs> um, you know, but they're great for crafty swaps. Um, I'm going to have a few of these now because, you know, I've been practising. Um, well, I've done a sample, so I shall give one to my little girl, and one will go to whoever the next person that I do a swap with is. Right, so that's those all layered. Okay, so now I want to layer my uh, the flaps of my envelopes. It strengthens them, and it just makes it look prettier. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use um, the All My Love um, DSP. So I'm going to glue the flap there. Okay, and while that glue is wet, I'm going to add some of the dotted tool. Um, I'm not. You can add add it to both sides and tie it in a knot if you want. I decided to just have the one piece and have it as like a wrap around, rather than tying it in knots. It's just easier. So a little bit more glue on the top of there, just to anchor that down. And then I'm going to get my All My Love DSP. I'm going to make sure I've got it running top to bottom. And then just line that on there like so. Give it a press. And then I'm going to pull the ribbon back out of the way and cut it out. Okay. easy to follow the line of it and if it's not perfect it, it really doesn't matter okay so that's that one okay so that's the top to bottom and then um, we would do the next bit uh, will that fit on there yep yeah. Okay, I'll leave the back one. I won't do the back one, but I'll show you this one and then I'll do the back one just off camera um, when we've finished. Um, just to save just a few more minutes of time um, so the video is not quite as long. There was a discussion on one of the Stamping Up sites the other day that's demonstrator only and there were some ladies on there saying how much they detested, couldn't stand long videos and they refused to watch anything that was more than about nine minutes and I was felt like, oh blimey, well that's, uh, that means me then because some of my videos are long. But sometimes, um, you know, um, if you want a bit more of an in-depth project, it can take... As long as it takes. Um, you do have the fast forward um, option. If you go to your settings, you, you can go to one and a half times speed or two times speed. And it speeds it up without you, you know, actually really missing everything. And then if there's something you feel you want to watch more in depth, you just um, rewind it. I can't imagine, well I can't imagine what I'd be like uh, fast forwarded, <laughs> with my voice, my laugh, uh, you know. But you know, if you, I, I get it, people's time's precious and all that if they don't want to watch long videos. So I will do the back one here, I will do, do it in exactly the same as I've just done that, but I'll do that off camera to save time. I can just move that out of the way now. Um, so that will wrap around 
like so and I just literally just took it in like so and it holds or you can have it like that and then just cut it at an angle um, I mean if you want to like I say if you want to have, add two and tie them there you can but because it opens like at, from the front and from the back I just figured a wrap around one was better it might even be nice with a little charm dangling off it or something if you use some different kind of ribbon there's another idea <laughs> right so we're going to decorate it now so I've I've left the two the, that one and that one plain because then your card can stand like that you know on a worktop or on the fireplace or on somebody's desk wherever they like to have it and we're going to have the words love I've pre-done them to save you a bit of time um, but I am going to show you how I've done the little flowers but I won't do every single word I'll just do I'll just do one to show you so these are the scalloped um sorry the layering ovals and this is one of the scalloped ones and it's the two and a half inch is it Two and a half? I don't know if it is. Let me just check that. I don't think I've got that quite right. It isn't. It's two and three quarters. Absolutely fibbing. Um, so a little bit of glue. Now, when I was doing my sample, I inked the edge of one and it just didn't look right. So um, I left it white because what it did then was it, it made the edge of that just disappear into the lovely lipstick. And it looked rubbish, so um, I've left it white. You could layer it up with another colour as well if you want, but you know, there's no point putting layer and layer and layer and layer and using your, your supplies for the sake of it. It's not necessary, just the one will suffice and it will look pretty. Okay. You could add it on dimensionals if you want. I'm just thinking about closing it. Um, easily without it being all big and bulky and um, but you could put it on dimensionals okay and then I have used the Stampin' Up Alphabet dies it's a 37 piece set it's awesome it is quite an investment it's not a cheap set I will admit um, you know if you've already got an alphabet die use that if you don't have an alphabet die you could stamp the words I've got in I've got um too much glue on there, that's bugging me. You could, instead of having the word um, love like I'm having, I'll find my glue eraser for that later. You could stamp a little message on each one, like a little, you know, a nice sentiment or saying or flowers or anything. You could do anything, you could put a butterfly on each one. You know, I'm giving you the idea um, of this little envelope card. But you, you know, change it up. You, you can use your own ideas if you want. So I've cut out the words love and I've used the um, All My Love DSP. Beautiful. Like I say, these are awesome, awesome dies. I will say they are a little bit expensive, but I got mine on a 50% off order. So, and I am not joking, they are a, they're a necessity. Wherever you get them from, an alpha, a good alphabet set is is a necessity. Um, it, you know, for card making, I think it is. So it's worth investing, and these will never leave my crafter collection. And I'll never buy another one because you know I've got one. I don't need you don't need ten of the same thing. You know you don't need to go buy one alphabet set and then go buy and it's not you know. So I shall never buy another one. So this will last me forever and ever. Amen. L O V. So it was worth the money. And Sizzix do do lovely dies. They do. They always cut well. They never let me down. They don't. I've never had one go blunt. Not me personally. There may well be somebody out there that has, but I personally never have in all my time of crafting. And I've, I've always preferred the Sizzix dies. So that's that. Okay. So now I have decorated mine just that little bit further. <laughs> you know, because this is me and I can't help myself. And what I've done is, and I'm just going to do the one, okay, uh, and then you would just replicate it four times. 
And what I've done is I've used, let me just move that out of the way, um, lovely lipstick ink because it's the same as the foil and I've used the bloom by bloom and I've picked out this tiny tiny little flower stamp it's tiny little spiky looking flower it's here you could very well miss it if you didn't notice it okay um, and so I'm going to stamp three onto a piece of scrap um, and these are awesome um, this is another thing another awesome set to have because we've got the little bitty bloom flower punches and having little tiny flowers I need three what am I doing having little little tiny flowers is another kind of like staple isn't it it's something you need in your collection because every so often you'll do something and you just think it just needs a bit of something what can I put on <laughs> my answer is a flower Flower or a butterfly, you can't go wrong. <laughs> It'll brighten up any card. So, and just lining that up with the punch, it lines up something like that. That's one. And these are super cute. I could sit and punch these all day. Two. Uh, you know, and you can punch these out in plain cardstock. You don't have to use the stamp. You can use any colour you want. You can add little gems to them, you can, oh there's, there's so many different things you can do, I love them. And I'm just going to pun, push the centre of that with the end of my pokey tool. Okay, and that's given me three little flowers. And I'll just decorate just the one panel. Um, so what I've done is, tiny, tiny dot of glue. And up to, how did I do it on there, did I do it? Let me have just check my sample. Yeah, <laughs> just on the edge there, on the top right sort of edge there. Okay, and then shall I just zoom in around a little bit? There we go. And then I'm having them on the left bottom. The left bottom. One there. Just hold it a minute while it dries, and then one right next to it. I like flowers in sets of three. There are little leaves that you can punch out. Um, I'm not going to um, go that far. <laughs> they are quite tiny. and um, they're, they're a lovely little detail, but just not for this card. I don't want any green on it. So there we go. So that is how we construct. And then it folds in like so. You can stand it up like so, it's nice and sturdy and then when you've done, you wrap it around, wrap it around and tuck that under, okay, so it's all folded up like that and this is the finished one. So there you go, hope you'll give that a try, over the weekend perhaps you've got plenty of time to get crafter and get your supplies out, so go and have some fun, I'll leave all of the measurements and all of the products that I've used over on my blog at scrimpingmommy.co.uk, if you do create one please do send me a picture, I'd love to see what you create, come on over to Stamping For All, upload your photos, um, send them to me on Facebook, whatever, I love to see what you've made so don't be shy to get in touch. There you go. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye.